What's up, fellas? Uh, typical Saturday, guys. That's what this video is about. Just a typical Saturday here in Arkansas. What I do, or you know, because I work through the week. You know, anywhere from you know 40 to 50 to 55 hours, 56, 57. It just depends on if you got to work Saturdays. But when I don't, I just uh, do yard work. Uh, take care of the chickens. Um, so kind of show you, kind of show you what we're, we got working here. These guys are already up to roost. These are my old adults. They're about a year old. You got one rooster and four hens, and they supply me with the eggs. So I gave them a mixture of corn and some egg rations, just some uh, some crumbles, uh, you know, to help egg production, which they get plenty of protein when they when I when they get let out and I come in here and I hadn't done nothing but I done this yesterday these guys moved them my guineas my barred rocks and my Easter eggers moved them and fed them and watered them and whatnot done that but checked on them kept checking on them make sure they're eating and drinking you know make sure they're eating and drinking so they don't oh, don't die on me Hey, out here, it's country life, I love it. But uh, been killing some carpenter bees. If you hadn't watched my video on how to kill carpenter bees, you gotta watch it. It's all about this, badminton racket. I've only, I've only got two badminton rackets. I got one here down at the barn where they can get in this wood like, if you see, like, well I got that plugged up with a pencil, with a pen. But you can see over the years, they just, they got, they'll drill holes all in your wood. And I just had a deck built last year. And so come out and I was like, man, I have hundreds and hundreds of carpenter bees out. And I'm like, how do I get rid of them? Well, go watch the other video and you'll see that that racket works wonders. So I was chasing them down. When I see one, grab my tennis rackets or my badminton rackets and just swat them. But anyway, so just been working. Well, let me show you. Well, this is my barn, guys. Of course, this thing won't be around too much longer. It's nasty. I hadn't got, listen, look at all this. You know all this ant killer? Insect killer. <laughs> got tons of it. Weed eaters. Got all kinds of snips and tools and you can change oil and old stuff. Chain, my chainsaw. Chains and grass killer. Got Got my feed, chick starter, my corn chops, and my bird feed, because I feed birds, and my crumbles for my uh, chickens. But I've been in here killing carpenter bees. Look at that. They just, they just drill and drill. It's crazy. I've been chasing them around, doing that today too when I see them, which I've only killed now. I mean, it was like a war zone before. Last last year was a war zone. And I went out and I some seen Bryce Mitchell post on something about here's my other chickens. About how to get rid of carpenter bees. Them Tyson chickens. That's what I call them. Just big white heavies. Oh hey, hey, we got some big Do what? What is that? Well, uh, nope, that's your, uh, what? You got a baby and Play-Doh lollipop? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know, whose chickens are those? Uh -huh. They're really big. Yeah, they're big. Those are the ones we bought about a month ago. What? You had, hang on, now you're getting dirty. Yeah, that one's big. Yeah, that one's real big, huh? Yeah. And then you got your smaller ones out, you know, around back, too, huh? Oh, yeah, I want to see. You want to go see? She wants to see. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, Whoop. You dropped it. Let's go. Well, let's go. We gotta go cook supper. You got it? Okay. She's got it. Here we go. Garlic. <laughs> got some garlic. Yeah, that, that, well, that's our big chickens. Where's our baby chick? And our guineas. Right there? Yeah. Cool, ain't it? Cool. Oh, my gas. My lawnmower. That's just trash. See, that's the gas for a lawnmower. You got two lawnmowers. 
gotta have a backup, right? Whoop, where's she going? Where's the place at? All right, you go back up to mama, okay? Yeah, you go back up to mama. But anyway, uh, so we like to plant garden too. Um, well, we had a garden in the past. My grandma always grew a garden. And I'm excited about this, guys. I wanna show you. Cause this year we decided just to do it real small. Not a garden, just in buckets. And uh, this is where I'm gonna finish this video. Typical day. Mama's chasing Harper. <laughs> but uh, I was excited to see this. They just got five little buckets. Look at that. See that? Squash. It's coming up. I just happened to notice this today when I come over here and spray it around here to kill these weeds. And then we got two cucumbers. Okra plant and an okra plant. My neighbor, I can't, my, this is the GoPro. You can see those buckets over there. He grows in buckets. He used to have a huge garden. I mean, huge. But he lost all of his garden that he had already planted back early part of April, mid April, I guess. And that frost that we had, that freeze that we had down here in Arkansas. And he lost everything but I think one tomato plant. Well, I like to watch a little bit of those guys on YouTube who are meteorologists, kind of get an outlook. And I held off planting until last weekend because the anomalies, the temperature anomalies that these guys were forecasting didn't look promising to me. So I know that's far in advance, but I took a shot, I didn't plant, and I'm thankful I didn't. Even though I could, you know, it's just five plants, but I didn't, I waited, and I'm glad I waited. And they're popped up, so I got excited because that right there, that amount of uh, squash and okra was, it would be too much for us. So we'll give it to my daughter, we'll give it to people at church, and my in-laws, so that'll, that'll be plenty for, for my spectrum, for, for all of us, so. But I'm excited about it. Uh, and then we'll probably add a little bit more stuff, but just stuff we can freeze, you know, no big deal. But anyway, that was a typical Saturday here in Dardanelle, Arkansas, uh, out in the country. I uh, mowed yesterday, I went down to the church, mowed the church, sprayed it for weeds and stuff. And uh, guys, I need, to, I need to wash. I need to take better care of my lawnmower. Of course, this one's just my backup. It's an old zero time. We got a couple years ago, but uh, anyway, uh, that's just kind of what we did. We're gonna go eat some supper and I'm gonna watch the USC fights and get up and go to church in the morning. But uh, just, uh, hey guys. Um, I'd, I'd, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, I'm new to this. I got, a lot, I got like 84 videos, but I'm still new to it. Trying to learn, try to put content out there. This is my mini homestead. Uh, it's where my grandparents raised my dad and uncles and where i was raised and it's just home for right now until we build our house like i we're gonna build a house over there on, on this land i'm gonna get that cleared out You've seen on the previous video if you did watch i only got 28 subscribers but anyway to all the people all around that do ha happen to watch this man uh that's just a typical what we do around here just feed the you know chickens um you know fixing to eat and my wife's on the phone my daughter's jumping on her trampoline and, uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed your weekend, and uh, until next time.